Bang! Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, your daily cryptocurrency and blockchain aggregated news show on YouTube. Hook, hook, there's going to be drinking. Hook, hook, there's going to be smoking. Hook, hook, there's going to be swearing. So look, look, you have been warned. All right, because you're coming three. Hook, look, two. Hook, hook, one. Bang! Welcome, everyone. Black, white, gay, straight, Christian, Muslim, Jew. My name is Shamari Clark. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, the greatest show on earth, the greatest show in the multiverse. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Bang! We got some great shit. Oh, my gosh. Brothers, this is such a great year. There's so much jumping off. Everyone's popping off. Everyone's popping off. I got onboardings like a motherfucker for you guys. I got fucking all sorts of shit to talk to you about. It's only fucking Tuesday show. <laughs> Back like. So I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you the truth, brothers. Because I got to get you the fresh info. I'm going to have to give you the fresh. You know, I always got to give you the fresh. That's what this channel is about. And so what this channel is probably going to turn into is the Tuesday to Friday show will probably be the normal blah, 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 three stories and gun and done. But whatever is left over at the end of the week, like the Saturday show, it, it might be it might be three stories, might be four, might be five, might be six. In other words, we got to clean up. We got to clean up the stories from last week before we get to next week. So we're going to do Saturday might be the cleanup shows. <laughs> so maybe you'll see something like crypto cleanup show. Yeah, you know what that means. Eesh. All right. There's a lot, man, 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 man. There's some good stuff. And so look, let's begin, shall we? Bosch files a digital patent for what? A payment. Oh, a payments patent, a payment platform on what? iota look at these companies filing patents for iota the standard but let's get to it the nasdaq the nasdaq shamari the nasdaq yes there's only one my brother only one brother and is looking at offering bitcoin futures we're going to listen to what the ceo says and then finally the india crypto trial happened like right now you know because india time right now it's 10 30 in the morning here in america the india trial ended already and so that was the closing arguments so we're going to hear the closing arguments they came out right now like as i was about to do the show because i was actually going to show to you guys about something else i was going to talk to you guys about uh cardano we're going to do that tomorrow uh but you know, the closing arguments of India. One in five of the world, baby. One in five of the world are Indian. Bang! Look, look, bang! Look, look, bang! Yes. So we're going to talk about that. So look, look, let's get to what we do. Bang! Yes. Oh, let's get to what we do. Look, look. Let's get to doing how we be doing around these parts. <laughs> All right. Look. Uh-oh. -uh. What do we got to do? You know how it goes. Refresh. Let's get those fresh numbers, brothers, sisters. Yes. Brothers and sisters, black, white, gay, straight, Christian, Muslim, Jew. Let's get some fresh numbers. What do we got? 9,035 on the Bitcoin. Oh, and that's what I wanted to tell you. Okay, my bad. And then I'm going to do a portfolio juggle update. So remember when I told you when we did the whole 2020 portfolio juggle extravaganza thing a couple weeks ago? And I told you those aren't final. That was where my head was at. Well... My head has since repositioned, and I'm going to show you the most fucking... Hold on, let me even... I'm going to show you what the most killer portfolio will look like. Because it's going to be mine when I'm done with this juggle. And I'm going to show you what I'm really going to do, and what I'm really going to onboard now. I've pretty much made my decisions. Uh, there's two little things that I still have to think about, but... Fuck, fuck. I'm going to show you what a fucking killer portfolio looks like. All right, so let's get back to, uh, but let's just let's do this in an orderly manner. All right. Bitcoin's at $9,035. When I left you yesterday, uh, Saturday, we are at $8,335. So look, what's that? Let me go up there. It's about 800 bucks. Oh, nice little 800 buck jump. All right, look, look. <coughs> Top 10 of the day, brothers. Usual suspects. Bang, top 10, Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin SV, Tether, EOS, Litecoin, Binance Coin, and Cardano now taking over the number 10. Oh, look at you, Cardano. I'm about to talk about your bitch ass. Oh, man, wait till I talk about these guys. 
I'm telling you right now. Let me let me just say this. After reading to you guys that story the other day, fucking they onboarded Uzbekistan, Georgia. Plus, I know what they're doing down there in Africa, and then they're onboarding. They they're doing that. They're gonna they're gonna securitize. Sorry, sorry. They're gonna make digital. They're gonna wait a minute. They're gonna securitize regular assets on the blockchain and use Cardano as the. Uh, you know, in Cardano's, in terms of the price, plus the other little the other little stuff they had there, right? What else do they have? Look, guys, Cardano's. Look, all right, all right, we'll talk about that when we get there. All right, look, look, we did the top tens. Now what? Oh, yes, Mark moves the day, brothers. You know the usual story, brothers. Look, look, single digits up, single digits down. Single digits up to 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 single digits down too. Single digits up to single digits down. All right, let's move on. Let's see who. Let's see what who we lost money today. You see any anything on here you like? You go get it because it is on sale. By the dip, idiot! Look, look. Bah! We got see that bike coin chart again. They just don't stop. Those guys are crazy over there. Whatever those fuck sticks are doing. Tag on. All right, top ten of the day, brothers, losers. Centrality, Bitcoin, ABC coin, Bitcoin gold, molecular future, Zcash, Dash, Energy, Icon, and Hollow. Fucking Bitcoin gold. Didn't they just get hacked the other day? 51% attacked? Anyway, whatever, man. Who gives a fuck? It's a piece of shit anyway. Look, top 10 winners of the day, brothers. Top 10 gainers. Kick token, Cardano, Nexo, Quant, Golem, Iota, Tron, Swipe, Crypto.com coin, and IXXRLC. All right, let's look at total market cap of the day, brothers. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, I'm already happy right here. Look, look, brothers. Oh, yes. <laughs> Total mark cap today, $249.2 billion. Bah! Nice. When I left you on Saturday, look, look, we're at 228.9. So look, look. What do we do? Let's do a little math. <laughs> what do we do? $21 billion up around there. Bye. Nice. But this is the juice that I like. This is the juice. Bye. Volume of the day. That shows activity. That means people are here and playing around, throwing their money around, having a good time. Welcome to the casino. Welcome to the goodie room. Look, look. Bye. 120.5. Bye. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Here we go, brothers. All right, all right, settle down, settle down. It's only one day. Oh, yeah. Here we go, brothers. Here comes the fucking volume. Here comes that fucking volume. Look! When I left you on Saturday, we are at 79.1. Ha! A paltry 79.1. Oh, yeah. Today, we're at 120.5. So that's a what? Let's just call that a $40 billion. But Look, look! Buy, look, look, buy. Forty billion dollar rise in volume. That's a thing of beauty right there. It's a thing of beauty. Money's starting to come into this market slowly. Like I said, we're waiting for a tsunami. Yeah, but a tsunami begins with a trickle. A tsunami begins with a trickle. Now the trickle did begin last year. Oh, yes. But it looks like we're gonna about to sustain this trickle. Right? We're about to sustain it. Right? Bitcoin went down to three thousand last year. Then bang, we shot up. Up to nine, then up to 14, but then bang, all the way down back to six. All right? But now we're seeing a more sustained, proper growth, not weak hand, crazy talk, or yeah, sorry, not crazy talk, but crazy movements because of weak hands. But now we're seeing real professionals come into the space. And it's just a slow, gradual rise. Like I told you, from now on, everything is going to be on a, if you're thinking, well, Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum, at least here in America, a slow, gradual rise. A 
a slow gradual rise, especially with all the investment vehicles and everything around the world that are being made for Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum. And remember that we have institutional grade stuff that's already launched over there in Europe, AIM and AG. And I'm going to talk to you about AIM and AG. They emailed me. Oh, yeah. And uh, so look, look, yeah, shit's getting fucking, fucking real. And that's why you better accumulate, 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 accumulate. Like I said, your alts aren't going to do much this year. But, um, which is perfect. You get the time to see which ones are actually onboarding people and making money, going to be a successful company going into the future. So that by the time the tsunami gets here, well, pff, you're sitting on, you're sitting pretty on a, you're sitting pretty on a, a bunch of good, like, I, like the, like the dot com bubble, baby. Thousands of companies were here. And if you were sitting pretty on the good ones, bah! I mean, you still made money even on some shit, but we, that's not what, this channel is about we're gonna be sitting pretty on the biggest and best most dangerous gangster shit in this space shit that your grandchildren are gonna know as like how you know the word microsoft is a household name yeah your child is gonna know v chain as a household name your child is gonna know iota as a household name ah singularity net well, i don't know about that but yeesh. we'll see but anyway you know what I'm talking about? Like shit that, that that level. Household name level. All right, let's get moving on, brothers. Look, love you guys. Back. Bosch files a patent to operate digital payments on IOTA. Here you go. Patents. Do you notice these guys are patenting shit around IOTA? I can't emphasize that enough. Right? No one's getting patented. No one's patenting VeChain. No one's patenting Singularity Net. But those aren't really patentable stuff. I mean, so, I mean... I'm not dissing that, so don't think of it like I'm dissing. I'm just saying uh, there, there's a, a bunch of blockchains out here who want to do this IoT stuff, Internet of Things future. The revel uh, Look, we're going into an Internet of Things society. We're going to have smart cities and Internet of Things all over the place, especially once 5G really starts rolling out, I think, next year, right? And, uh, well really rolled out like properly next year it's starting already but yeah, it's the full look look will be next year fully it'll be a thing of our lives now you know like 4g now is the, the thing yeah that's how 5g is going to be next year and so iot and all that well, that's the future iot uh just so much more because it's so much more powerful the network right and uh yeah and like look at this Right? There's many IoT, Internet of Things, crypto craps out here. I don't hear anyone patenting around anything else. I'd read it. It's not like I'm just reading IOTA just to be a, because I like it. I don't care. Patent it all. Like I, Anyone that gets patent, I'm going to read it. None of them are. None of them are. Remember that. I want you to remember that. I'm not just reading you stories of crypto I like. I'm just reading you stories of any crypto that's making money. I don't care what it is. I don't care what the company is. I don't have a, I mean, I have what's in my portfolio, but I don't care, right? And so no one's patenting anything around anything else in terms of the IoT space other than bang. What have we been reading the past couple of weeks, right? So look, and that's what, and what did we read about? We read about that fucking analyst company, right? Those analysts are like, this shit's going to be the standard. Like I said, I think a standard, I don't know about the standard, that's, but, I mean, companies are, you know, Bosch, you know, multi-mega gazillion dollar company, right? They're, they're, here it is. They patented something. So let's check it out. In other words, that's industry adoption, right? Like, it's not a bunch of Twitter people, Ripple Army, Ripple the standard, ripple the standard. Nah, it ain't fucking bunch of fucking worker bees talking about it it's mega corporations just doing it making it the standard yeah I'm a, i want to patent a bunch of shit that i'm going to make around this stuff right in other words they see the use case like a motherfucker <laughs> you know what i mean like dang on this shit's amazing i'm gonna patent something right around this thing right here right now That's the beauty, guys. We're seeing companies do it, not some Twitter army saying we're the best. 
but companies saying you're the best, all right? Saying you're the best. All right, look, look, let's get going. In recent times, there's been an increase in the number of patent filings on blockchain technology, and this time, it is the turn of IOTA Foundation, the organization behind IOTA Distributed Ledger Technology, the Tango. Oh, it makes blockchains look like pieces of shit. Renowned German multinational engineering and technology company Bosch is filing a patent for a digital payment scheme on IOTA Distributed Ledger. Look at the fucking use cases IOTA has. Right? They're doing the tracking thing. You know, the authentication stuff like the V-Chain thing. They're in the cars. Uh, you know, doing the whole, the cars are going to talk to each other and update weather conditions and all this. They're in the smart cities. Right? Smart cities, we read about the garbage can and all these other little nodes and whatnot they're going to build, you know, and use IOTA on. But now, oh, oh yeah, and then we read about IOTA's in that new satellite that's going up into space with the Canadian government and that one company. So they're being used for satellite communications. Well, yeah, it did say. It said SATCOM. Yeah, SATCOM. Um, and now here we go, man. Someone's found a use case to make it do what? What are we talking about here? What are we doing? Filing a patent for bang. Digital payments, fuck sticks. Bah! Iota, guys, the standard. Fucking the tangle is the ultimate, man. I'm not a techie techie guy. That's why you never hear techie techie stories here. But I am techie techie about Iota. It's too good, man. It makes these blockchains look like old nothings. 1970s garbage cars or something. <laughs> it's awesome. All right, luck, luck. They want to put the distributed payment scheme or the digital payment scheme on Iota Distributed Ledger. Bosch aims at operating a digital payment system on IOTA. But! So, for some time now, IOTA has been proving itself as a top technology that companies can bank on, especially with the IoT and Tangle technology. Thus, Bosch is filing a patent, a patent, to build a project that would be used for digital payments on IOTA. Aside from having a base in Germany, IOTA has been building great names within the walls of the country and outside with its technology. Furthermore, Bosch's latest deal is another way forward for IOTA. Another onboarding baby. Earlier in December 2017, Bosch invested in IOTA. Bye! Through its venture capital arm, Robert Bosch Venture Capital. Okay. I hadn't known about that until I read this. So they've been in for a while. They knew these boys were going to do something. Bosch then bought some IOTA tokens, which were not disclosed to the public, to get a stake in IOTA Foundation. They already knew. They already saw the potential and we're already in. I like that. I didn't know about that until I read this thing today. Uh, Bosch claims it was incited, excited, by IOTA's innovative Tangle technology. It is. It's amazing. It's amazing, the Tangle. So look, IOTA hodlers. Fuck, another onboarding. Just keeps going on and on. All right. Bye. Let's check out the NASDAQ. NASDAQ is looking at Bitcoin futures, says the CEO, Adina Friedman. What? This is the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ. You know what I mean? Like, uh, huh. the NASDAQ is looking at Bitcoin futures. So, but all right, all right, let me calm down. Um, you know, it's like backed, right? The guys that backed are the guys who runs the New York Stock Exchange. So really, NASDAQ is getting in a little late, <laughs> right? The CME already has their futures. Backed in the ICE boys over there, uh, the New York Stock Exchange boys have their futures. So now it looks like NASDAQ, they want to get a little piece. And that's what we want. That's what we want. And that's what it shows. That's what it shows. These big, mega, mega institutions now are realizing. Oh, look, look. This shit's real. I got to get a piece. That's what they're saying. I got to get a piece. Yes, come get your piece, homeboy. Come get your piece and bring all your rich boys, your country club buddies, money with you. That's what we're waiting for, brothers. Dagon Tsunami. Country club tsunami. Uh, just flying here on your Lear jets and your fucking stallions, your, your yachts, your Lambos, your, your limos. Come on in and bring us the money. <laughs> look, look, brothers. Come on and bring us the money. 
And so that's what I want to emphasize to you. The CME backed, which is controlled by ICE, the guys who run the New York. So let's forget the words. Let's just look at this. The CME, the New York Stock Exchange, and now the NASDAQ about to launch Bitcoin futures. When you think of back, just think of New York Stock Exchange. It's the same company. All right. You know what I mean? They just gave it a different name, but whatever, man. It's the same company. They could have just launched those futures on the New York Stock Exchange that they want. I don't know why they had to make a whole crypto thing, but whatever, man. None of my business, but look. The NASDAQ is looking at Bitcoin futures now. So let's check it out. Oh, 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 yeah. And then hold on, Shamar. What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck? Lazy ass. Look. Yeah, well, when soccer mom and dad see on their E-Trade account Bitcoin on the NASDAQ. Look, look. Yeah. Look, look. <laughs> look, look, brothers. That's legitimacy. Oh, it's on the NASDAQ? Right? The little kid with green hair and a nose ring was telling him about this thing, Bitcoin. They didn't listen about it back, back, back then. But also on the NASDAQ? On my E-Trade account? One click away? And you know that as this stuff rises, you know, as Fidelity and these boys start ramping up, obviously the media is going to hype it for them. CNBC is going to hype. Bloomberg is going to hype. You know, it, let's get real. We all know how this is going to go down. You know, it'll be a frenzy. I, I told you, like the dot-com bubble, right? Uh, once everyone's in position, well, that's a lot of frenzy. The media loves it. They get good ratings on their shit. We love it. We get money pouring in. Investors love it. Your fucking portfolio is just growing like a like a beautiful garden. <laughs> yes, prize roses and and orchids. Orchids, those are my favorite flowers in the world. But anyways, oh, that's a little bit about me. I like foliage. I like flowers. Orchids. <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful flowers. And they're each distinct. They have a, tr a nature to them. Yeah, that's a nature. Some orchids only take a year to grow. Some take five years to mature. Oh, yeah. Glorious, 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 glorious plants. But anyways, the point B is that. Dang on it. Knock, <laughs> knock. The point being, brothers, is here it comes. Here it comes. The NASDAQ is in. Like I said, backed. New York Stock Exchange boys are in. CME is in. Mega, mega. This is the real fucking deal. 2020, this is becoming, let me tell you something about 2020. This is becoming, 2020, this is fucking beautiful, man. Like, uh, you know, like, look at the fucking onboardings. You know how many onboardings I have to talk to you about right now? Hold on, I'll even, hold on, I'm not going to show you them, but let me just read some shit. I, 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 I can tell you right now, this was all from Saturday to today. Watch this. Oh, we're going to talk about them this week, so let me give you a little preview then. Here's, here's this week's preview. Germany, crypto custody. Bang! We're going to talk about that. We're talking about the patent right now. Swiss Bank is going to offer uh, crypto services. Bang! A real bank, a regulated bank, not some fuckery. NASDAQ, that's what we're talking about now. Ha! Cardano with PricewaterhouseCoopers. Oh, not even the price. There's two Cardano things. So this one is the Cardano in collaboration with the EU, an EU consortium. Oh, we're going to talk about that. This is day one. I'm, this is only fucking Tuesday. Oh, my gosh. I'm telling you, the Saturday show is probably going to be a long motherfucker. Because <laughs> I'm not going to let you get a, I'm not going to, you know, I got I to gotta give you the full data. Cardano again, PricewaterhouseCoopers. Bug! They have a whole program to roll out Cardano. To big government, uh, to big, uh, I'm gonna, te that's, I was gonna do that one tonight, but we have to talk about the, uh, the India trial, or else that was the one I was gonna do. Oh, yeah, and more IOTA, there's another IOTA thing, the new embedded Linux thing. Guys, there's so much, I love you guys, come on, man, let's just go, I know. You're teasing us now. Yes. It's called a teaser. You better stick around all week, son. We got onboardings like a motherfucker. That's already just right now. <laughs> I can't even wait to see what happens when I go to sleep tonight. 
wake up and see what the fuck I got to talk to you about tomorrow. Dang God. All right, guys, let's get moving. <laughs> Adina Friedman, CEO of NASDAQ, the world's second largest stock exchange, the world's second largest stock exchange, but confirms. What, what? Let me say that. Let me bang that. Look, look. Bye. Look, look. Bye. Look, look. Bye. Confirms. This ain't no maybe gonna wanna wanna wanna. Well, there is a maybe wanna wanna, so we'll read on, but confirms that the company is considering. There we go. Considering launching. They're not fucking considering anything. You know they're gonna do this. Of course they are. You think they're gonna let the CME boys and the New York Stock Exchange boys make all the loot and they're not gonna get a piece? Fuck all that. Of course they're going to do this. So look at that. The company is considering launching Bitcoin futures with an unnamed business partner. That's what I want to hear. I want to hear who they think of doing this with. So in a new interview with Bloomberg, Friedman said, so this is the CEO. This is straight from the CEO's mouth of NASDAQ. We've been working with the industry and with a great partner to look at whether or not it's the right thing for us to do. And I think that we're still evaluating that. We've been talking with the industry to say, is this something unique? We already have two Bitcoin futures out there. And that's the truth. CME's got their futures. Um, and obviously backed and the New York Stock Exchange boys. CME's got their cash settle futures. Stock Exchange boys has their physically settled futures. So where would NASDAQ fit in is what he's trying to say. You know, is this something unique? You know, so if you're going to create a product, you want to know that people are going to use it obviously, and use it differently than how it's being used today. The second thing is, we'd have to self-certify as a futures exchange for this, which they're allowed to do, so that's not a problem. And we would use the same thing BAC did. The BAC just self-certified, right? Fuck all this. So did the CME. Fuck all that. Right? They applied at the SEC, and the SEC took so long, they were like, fuck this. We're just self-certifying. That's, they have the power to do that in our country. The CME, the New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, they apply for licenses to do things. But if they really want, they're allowed to just say, we're doing it. Right? And the SEC can't say anything about that, you know? But they always try to do it properly just because it makes it look better, right? Um, but we have to make sure for risk management perspective, we're fully prepared, and those are the two things we're still working on. Friedman believes that the broader outlook will include cryptocurrencies. So this is what he says. He says, this is the CEO of NASDAQ. I would say that our view is that digital currencies and cryptocurrencies will have a role in the global economy. Cryptocurrencies, remember, that's the Bitcoin, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, stablecoin stuff. Cryptocurrencies, right? The question is, will they mature to a state that really is used for the transfer of goods? Oh, that's the problem. That's the problem. I don't think so. I think Bitcoin and uh, Bitcoin, well, I don't know about the rest of these shits. Well, I think Bitcoin will be used as a store of value. I don't, like I said, soccer mom and dad buying stuff with it. No, that's not going to happen. Do you? Yeah, exactly. What makes you think magically soccer mom and dad are going to do that? But anyway, in the, but in the meantime, I think that there's certainly a lot of demand out there for that indicative price and the ability to trade it. It's just a matter of can we create a construct that it's unique enough and different from what's already there. So he's talking about his own futures product. So the first, the first euro-denominated Bitcoin exchange traded note, Bitcoin Tracker Euro, was launched on NASDAQ. Nordic in October 2015. Get the fuck out of here, right? I didn't know that. Actually, I'll tell you the truth. I didn't know that the NASDAQ had exchanges around the world. The same with those guys, ICE, who, con who controls the New York Stock Exchange. Yeah, they have 28 exchanges around the world. I didn't know it was like that. I thought our guys were our guys, their guys were their guys kind of thing. Yeah, but nah. So look at this. They've already had a futures, what is it? Oh, just some exchange traded note. But still, since 
2015, the NASDAQ, Nordic NASDAQ, NASDAQ Nordic. So, was that in Sweden or something? Right? Oh, so, I got to dig around, see what these guys are really doing out there. All right. So, as for a new product, Freeman's update, Friedman's update is the latest in a series of confirmation. Bloomberg reported in November of 2018 that NASDAQ sources confirmed the company was looking into launching Bitcoin futures. Oh, and that's it. So, bye. So, look, I know that's not an onboarding and it's not a launch, but I just want to get it in your head like, look, here's the real deal, guys. Here's the real shit. You know, uh, they're, they're saying they're only going to investigate it. They're going to look if they can build a product and all that. Get the fuck out of here. They're going to do it. <laughs> you know that. And uh, that's what we need. The professional regulated. I want you to, I want you to make the distinction. Let, let me let's talk about let's talk about cryptocurrency exchanges for a second. Look, look, my killer bears. Let's have a new little lesson tonight. Two kinds of exchanges. Unregulated. Bitmex. Bittrex. Binance. Sure, they offer futures, they offer swaps, they offer options, unregulated. And then you've got regulated, well, obviously NASDAQ, but regulated stuff. Uh, Stuttgart Borst in Germany. Uh, and regulated investment vehicles. Let's, let's bring it down to that level. Not just exchanges, but investment vehicles. CME, backed, AIM and AG, over there in Europe. Um, what else we got? There's a couple more. There's some more shit out here. What else we got? The fuck sticker over there in uh, in the UK. That guy who said he's gonna give the full the full range of crypto. And that bank in the UK as well. Right. In other words, you're right. Regulated though. That's what's necessary. The Bitmax, the Bitfinex, and all that. That that. All that money that's there, those are people who are trading on those exchanges. Yeah, they're retailers. Soccer moms and dads, bunch of cowboys, whatever. You know? Or individual investors like me. Maybe you are an individual futures guy and you rock. You know, maybe you get in there and like, oh, I know about futures, I'm a futures guy. You know, we're, we're freelancers. You know, I'm a freelance Forex trader. Well, there's freelance swap guys. There's freelance option guys. Look at our brother right here, Ronquez. Son of a bitch. Yeah, he's a freelance stock guy, right? And so you can do whatever you want when you're a freelancer. But the beauty is, is that now we're getting regulated exchanges. Big hedge funds aren't allowed to come and cowboy around on BitMEX and Bitfinex and all that. They're not allowed. It's not like the movie Wolf of Wall Street. That guy was a criminal. <laughs> okay. He was a straight criminal. You know, that's not how the real markets are. These guys aren't criminals. They know about markets and they just make money from them. You know, they don't have to be sneaky. Like me, I'm a forex trader. I can't be sneaky. Yeah, well, how do I make money? Well, I just slaughter you. Bah! Yeah, well, that's the same thing they do. And so that's who we're waiting for. We're waiting for legitimate slaughterers, legitimate market killers to get to the space. And that's what we need. Regulated, beautiful stuff. Regulated investment vehicles, regulated exchanges, enough insurance to cover their losses if anything goes down, and obviously custody. <laughs> Without that, there is no market. <sighs> Love you guys. All right, let's move on. But what we got? What we got? But oh, okay. So the Indian Supreme Court thing. Good, good, good. Okay, so finally. All right. So look, look. Hold on. Look, look. So look, look. India. Why do you always talk about India, Shamar? What the fuck do you care about this court case here? This court case right here is going to tell us are one in five people on earth going to be allowed into this crypto space or not? <laughs> That's why, motherfucker. That's why. One in five people in the world are Indian. One in five people on earth are Chinese. All right? What those two governments do right there in this crypto space is major. Major in terms of population and 
You know, like, I mean, America obviously has more money than them. Well, not more than China. China is up there, too. And Europe. So China, Europe, and America are the money things. But things like India, yeah, you're onboarding all these people. And all those little retailers, plus they do have money, are going to bring it into this space nicely, nicely. And that's why we concentrate on that so much, all right? So look, so the, the hearing, so we talked about it last week. Um, so the hearing concluded today. So I haven't read this article. I did read another article about the hearing. And uh, the fucking crypto guy, he made some good arguments. So I haven't actually heard what the arguments of the Indian Supreme, uh, sorry, central banks, banksters are. So I'm reading this fresh right now with you. So we'll see. We'll see how it makes me feel when we get to that part. <laughs> Probably see your reaction there. And I, I could have read it before. Of course, you could have just read it before and then read it to us. I know. But I want to have a, I want you to see the natural reaction, how I look at it when I see it the first time. All right. So let's check it out. Ah, Let me get a sip first, though. Like I said, it's the biggest thing, guys. One in five people on earth. One in five people on earth. So this ain't to be fucked with. That's 20% of earth. China's got 20. India's got 20. Yeah, the rest of us are sprinkled in. The Kenyans, the Jamaicans, the African Americans. Well, they're not really a race. They're a whole different thing, but they're more like Palestinians. But you know, the Ecuadorians, every, all of us, the South Koreans, all, we're just sprinkled in. Even the Russians, fucking huge land, sprinkled in. And like I said, crypto is going to be a global market, not a regional market. Actually, I have an article that Hoskinson was talking about it. You know, and he said exactly what I've been telling you guys. Yeah, the reason, you, so you guys know I'm a Forex trader. Yeah, well, in the Forex market, we trade $5.6 trillion a day. Why? Because it's global. Everyone can get their hands on it. Anyone can do it. Just open a Forex trading account and get in. That's what this crypto space is going to be like. And that's why when I tell you, you will be rich, there are going to be trillions of dollars in this space. It's not like a regional shit. You know, like, oh, the New York Stock Exchange. All right, well, if you're American, you can buy Ford or whatever. But if you're a Nigerian, you can't buy that shit. Right? Or in Europe... You know, Volkswagen stocks. Yeah, as an American, I can't buy that shit on E-Trade. Can I? I don't know. They, they they probably have listed over here too. But but you know what I'm trying to say. They're regional exchanges, and those exchanges hold the assets of... So now we're talking about the stock market. They hold the assets of the stocks of, the country, of their country. You know what I mean? Like, so Volkswagen, German company, is in a Volkswagen, uh, is in a German uh, exchange, right? You're in America, Microsoft, Uber, Facebook, right? They're in the NASDAQ, the American exchange. Unless you have access to the exchange. There we go. That's the way to say it. Unless you and your country has access to the exchange, well, you can't get your hands on that stuff. And that's the difference with cryptocurrency. Everyone is going to get their hands on this stuff. That's why you're going to be fucking rich. Hmm. Oh, yeah. That's what's gonna make you fucking rich. Is because all the all the cowboys, all the hedge funds, all the institutional investors from all those other countries, they want into this space. Well, when it's a global space, as long as you the investor, you right now I'm talking to you, worker B, as long as you are holding those assets that these boys want, you are going to be rich global no one's stopping them no one can stop a chinaman from buying v chain no one can stop an indian from buying v chain no one can stop a guatemalan from buying v chain no one can stop a south african from buying v chain no one can stop a south korean from buying v chain no one can stop an american a canadian a european anyone else because it's global global money you see the difference you see the difference? If you're in Guatemala, you can't buy a fucking Microsoft stock. 
the U.S. and VJ. Global markets. All right, all right. So you guys, I hope you get one of the differences between regional markets, which are these exchanges that are regional, country to country to country, invest in our country, you know. So, okay, let's talk about that then. Stock markets. Those guys are promoting the stocks of their companies from their countries, right? So America's stock exchange is filled with American companies. Yeah, you're allowed to list here or whatever, but let's get real. These are American companies. Europe, European companies. UK, UK. Everybody. All countries, when they their stock exchanges are promoting and, uh, you know, their, their national... You know, their national, uh, what do you call these? Like, how do you say this word? You know, their national pride, you know, the national corporate pride, like their national not pride. That's not the word, you know, but your national big wigs. That's not the word. Fuck, I'm not thinking of the word properly. You know, they're promoting their. Their national foundational corporate guys, you know, the. The guys who are hiring 50, 60, 100,000 people at a time, you know, like their national major conglomerate, not conglomerate, that's not the word, but their major guys. All right, fuck, man, let's move on. And that's the difference. Okay, you're promoting your national guys, but that's within your nation, right? If I'm a, an American, I can't buy some South Korean stock, <laughs> you know what I mean? If I'm an American, I can't buy some stock from India. I mean, if you're hardcore, you can. Like, if you have a Bloomberg terminal, you can do whatever you want. So that's different. But you and me, it doesn't work like that. But guess what? Crypto, it's, na it's global. It ain't national. Crypto is going to be global. And that's the secret that I want you guys to understand. And that's what I want you to understand is that when I tell you you're going to be rich, this is a global market. I'm a Forex trader. It's a global market market anyone anyone can get in from all around the world and that's what crypto is going to be from all around the world and that's why there's going to be trillions of dollars brought to this space trillions just like the forex market trillions of dollars are eventually going to come to this space and as long as you the investor have working product oh baby baby everyone can buy it Everyone, if you own Uber shares, Uber America shares, yeah, well, a guy in Nigeria can't buy that, right? But Cardano, let's look at, so let, 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 me, let me give an example. So Cardano is an American company, comes from Colorado. Hoskinson and his boys, they're from Colorado here in America. So if they were to just IPO and go on the New York Stock Exchange or something, well, only Americans could really buy that. A guy from fucking Brazil can't buy that, you know, from South Korea or fucking whatever can't buy that. But because it's crypto, it's different. Yeah, everyone in the world is going to be able to buy that. And that's why you're going to get rich because it's a global market. This isn't regional. Fuck, these companies are from all over the world, these crypto guys. IOTA's from Germany. Uh, where's your V-chain at? Singapore or China? I don't even remember. Oh, oh China. Yeah, yeah, Xi Jinping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Cardano, American. Factum, American. You know, uh, what we got? Tron, China. You know what I mean? Like Stellar. Jed McCaleb, he's a white guy. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. I mean, he's over in, over in Asia, though. But, but you see what I'm saying? It's just global. All right, I know. I preached, I preached, I preached, I preached. I preached. But do you guys get what I'm saying? That's why I'm saying, and I want you to understand this fucking very clearly, fuck sticks, brothers and sisters. You are going to be rich because you are in a global market, a market where every citizen on earth can purchase these assets that you own. And what's the point of this channel? To make sure that you own the assets that everyone's going to want. No, oh, yeah. Especially these, but the institutionals, but everybody, everybody's going to want. All right. So, but, but all right. So, holy, 
How do I go into that? But all right. So you get that? Now, let's talk about the Indian Supreme Court shit right here. Bang, the hearing is concluded. Today was the last day of the cryptocurrency hearing of India. One in five people on earth. Big, big deal. Big, 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 big deal. So let's check out what they said. <clears throat> Let me get a sip. Fuck shit. Damn. These motherfuckers probably preached today. <laughs> I hope so. Let's see what they said. IAMAI concludes arguments in the Supreme Court. So those guys, those are the crypto guys. So let's hear what their, the crypto guys said. Uh, so those are the guys on our side. The Supreme Court of India resumed hearing the crypto versus RBI, the Royal Bank of India, which is the Indian uh, Central Reserve case on Tuesday morning. The Council for the Internet and Mobile Association of India, IAMAI, Ashin Sud, that's our boy, picked up where he left off last week. He began by saying that there was no study showing that cryptocurrency affects monetary policy. Local news platform Crypto Canon reported from the courtroom, reported from the courtroom. Sue then brought up some previous cases to discuss the central bank's power to take preemptive steps, reading out the RBI circular which bans banks from uh, providing services to crypto businesses. Mm -hmm. The IAMAI council, crypto guy, pointed out that the circular has neither stopped crypto trading or its use as a means of payment, nor cross-border transactions. In other words, Your Honor, the issue of this thing, nothing's changed anyway. Um, therefore, it does not address any of the central bank's concerns because well, nothing happened. <laughs> Sue asserted that the circular was always intended to control consumer behavior. And it seems to be, it seems to been failed even in this purpose. Right. They brought up the circular. They thought that people would start stop using crypto. People are like, yo, go fuck yourselves. So he's, the, the, the crypto guy is saying, your honor, come on. The circular didn't even work. So during the hearing, Justice, oh, and this is the justice, so this is one of the head guys. During the hearing, Justice Rama Subramanian, oh yeah, that's some good name right there. Rama Subramanian mentioned that Warren Buffett had made a negative statement regarding Bitcoin, to which the council replied by showing an article where the Berkshire Hathaway CEO said, he may have made a mistake by not investing in technology companies such as Apple and Google. Oh, so did you see that? One of the judges was like, yeah, but Warren Buffett says this is a piece of shit. And then the, the crypto guy, the crypto uh, lawyer came out and said, but look, look, he's also shown he's made some mistake, Your Honor. This guy ain't infallible. He doesn't know everything. Oh, nice, nice. All right, he missed out on the, what does it say? He showed the thing where he admitted he missed out on not investing in Google and Apple, right? So he ain't, he doesn't know everything, Your Honor. Oh, yeah, he's a good investor, but he don't know everything. Sued claims that if Buffett can make a mistake, why can't the RBI? Why can't the Central Bank of, uh, of, uh, of India? <laughs> yeah. He then concluded his arguments. All right, so bang. Okay, so that was his arguments. Okay, okay. Now let's hear. Crypto exchanges. Oh, we're still got more? Okay. Crypto exchanges councils. Like I said, I didn't read this article yet. So I don't know what's really coming here. I mean, I know about markets, so it's, I can read whatever I want. But look, crypto exchange council concludes his arguments. After the IMA council, Nikol Dewan the council representing a number of crypto exchanges. So this is the guy who's representing the exchanges. He began, yes, look at that, look at that. He began his arguments. All right, what's he talking about? He explained that 
Cryptocurrency should be seen from the perspective of its legal creation, whereby it has characteristics of property, but not by its use, whereby it is akin to money. Hold on, let me read that again. Should we theme? Like I said, I haven't read this yet. And that's why I have to do, I show you how I read articles. Now, now you're going to see how a real investor reads articles. Yeah, we read every word, fuck stick. Words matter. So let me just read again. He explained that cryptocurrency should be seen from the perspective of its legal creation, whereby it has characteristics of property. All right. But not by its use whereby it is akin to money. Ah, there we go. So he's telling the judge, look, your honor, this should be looked at as property. So I guess he's trying to get the Bitcoin thing, you know, like, you know, Bitcoin here in America, Bitcoin is a commodity. So he's looking at property, but not by its use whereby it is akin to money. Right, so he's telling the judge, don't worry about the money part, your honor. Look at his property. The council read out a few statements from other regulators, such as the US ta the UK task force, and submitted that crypto assess assets have the characteristics of property. Okay, so boom. Uh, they went to the property side of the argument. He wrapped up his arguments after starting stating that the central bank's arbitrary measures have indirectly shut down crypto exchange businesses. The hearing then concluded. Ah. What? A few hours after the hearing ended, the Supreme Court issued an order. Oh! That the judgment is reserved and the written submissions may be filed. What? By January 31st. Hold on. What the fuck? Hold on. Let me read this again, guys. Let me read this again. One second. A few hours after the hearing ended, the Supreme Court issued an order declaring that the judgment was reserved. All right, so they're going to give the judgment later. And the written submissions may be filed by January 31st. Well, we're obviously past that. Oh, we're not. Oh, oh, my bad, my bad. Oh, it's the 28th of January. <laughs> All right. Yes, I'm the idiot. Yes. Look, look. I'm the idiot. All right. Furthermore, the court is set to hear the petitions relating to the company's crypto policies after, sorry, it has pronounced its judgment on the RBI case. Okay, so they're saying they're still gonna hear some more stuff. But this is the big one, so bye, look, look. Well, let's see, What's the, what are they? All right. So right now I'm talking to you on 11.23 a.m., uh, January 28th. They say that they got till January 31st. The, the, the court, settle down. The court said that, bang, you got to January 31st. And then we're going to hear the ruling. We're going to hear the ruling. And so, like I said, guys, the reason this is such a big deal is, well, one in five people on earth are fucking Indian. One in five people on earth are Indian. Right? I know, I know, I know, I know. I know what the people say. Yeah, but most of them are poor. You're right. It's right. It's not that, you know, the Indian rural person, they don't have money to invest in this shit. But what I'm just saying is just that, you know, as things get better, more people than people will onboard. All right, I mean, this more and more people will onboard and they will get into it. And 1.5 billion people, when you've given them the opportunity to not just invest, like forget about the investment part. Like guys like you and me, if you're watching this show, you're like me, I'm here to make money off this shit, like invest. But when you're looking at places like India, Africa, that's more people who are gonna use it. That's your mass adoption crap you guys talk about. You know, that, that you guys want and all this. And uh, we'll see if it happens, right? And rural areas of India, we'll see if that happens. Right, that's a big deal. I showed you about rural areas of India. These guys steal their fucking land and do all this stuff. And like I said, soccer mom and dad in America using crypto to buy coffee, that'll never happen. Someone in India maybe, maybe. 
We'll see. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a fortune teller, so we'll see. But look, look, let's go over here. Bye. Yeah, Benny him. No, oh, look at Benny him. He's chit chatting already. Look, look, Benny him. Later, brother. See you, brother. Bye. What's he talking about? Waiting to catch CB Newswire. Tune in to the greatest show in the multiverse. <laughs> Benny him. Thank you, brother. You're getting all stupid. Tune in to the greatest show in the multiverse. Get up to speed on familiar working products. Discuss what governments around the world feel about the crypto, about crypto. They were swearing, drinking, smoking. So soccer mom and dads, you've been warned. Bang, buddy, you got it. You got it, exactly. Love you, Binium. Bye. Looks like Sweetie liked what Binium said. Look, let's give Sweetie a bang. Bye. Look, look, Sweetie. Coming to see you in about three weeks. Going up to Denver. Probably mid 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 February. Check out Sty and see what she's about. Look, look. Love you, girl. See you, girl. Bye. Little worker bee wants to be a killer bee. Well, I like that. You know, you know, the girls I'm around, you know, they're doctors, lawyers, and shit like this. But look, look. Ah, they don't know about shit. I'll take a worker bee who wants to be a killer bee. Look, we got Coin Slice. What's he talking about? Coin Slice is a cryptocurrency new portal that presents the latest news in the cryptocurrency and blockchain niche. Oh, do you? Look here, fuck stick. Look, bye. All right, Binium, what's Binium talking about? Look, look. Binium, what are you talking about? He said, look, look, CB News. Singapore introduces increasing requirements for crypto firm. Yeah, yeah, that's the anti-money laundering thing. Everyone's getting, everyone's getting all the comp. All, oh, oh, Singapore's kicking ass though. Singapore has pro crypto fucking regulations. A lot of companies from around the world are all migrating to Singapore right now. Uh, to, uh, you know, to do their stuff. Um. Yeah, but this thing right here, this particular one here, um, these are for anti-money laundering. Yeah, they're getting FATF compliant. So Singapore just tells them you got to get FATF compliant, which we know everyone does. So, bang, good stuff. Bang. All right. Everyone's got to get FATF compliant. Look, look, Chief B. It's been a while, brother. I haven't seen you for a couple weeks. Look, look, Pascuiyaki tribe. Bang. Look, look. Yes. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bang. Hurricane Master. <laughs> bang. Bang. Look, look, Hurricane Master. You know, we love you, brother. See you, brother. Been here for a long, long time. Look, look, Benny. What's he talking about? CB News. He said, look, look, CB. Is London the next target for Gemini Exchange? New. Crypto Exchange, Gemini. Has hired former Circle Pay Compliance Officer Blair Halliday. Chief Compliance Officer for the UK and Europe. Well, obviously it is, fuck's day. I don't have to ask about that. But, of course, Gemini's moving out. I told you those Gemini boys, those little kids, the Winklevoss kids, they're doing it right. They're doing it right. They're doing it right. They're, they're getting so compliant with everything they do. Like, you notice that they're moving really slow. Like, like if you're a, a watcher, of Gemini, you're probably like, fuck, it's taking so long, taking so long. Yeah, but because that's because the Winklevoss kids, they're making sure that their thing is real. I think they want to be real players going into the future. They're a bunch of young kids. Yeah, they want to be like NASDAQ level. They want to be fucking, you know, New York Stock Exchange level, ICE level, you know, shit like that. That's what I think they're, 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 they're playing for because... They're making sure every single thing is regulated in this and this and this and this and this. Right? And so, yeah, here we go. Bye. And here they come to Europe. But they're going to do it nice and slow and nice and good. CB News just in announced Tuesday. Singapore's newly enacted Payment Services Act updates the country's regulatory frameworks for crypto exchange and business. Yes, it does. Singapore, maybe. Singapore's making all those moves. Look at this guy, Peter. 
Never heard about you, Peter. Look, look. Welcome, Peter. Who is he? Husband and proud dad of two little angels. Oh, of course they are. They're the sweetest angel on earth, I'm sure, Peter. <laughs> He's the VP of DiceTrade.com. Whatever that is. CRO and consulting firm. Bang. Where I work with an awesome team to help our clients reach new heights. Look, look, you want, what is he? A consulting firm? Yeah, yeah. You want consulting? You come right here, homeboy. I'll give you some fucking consulting. <laughs> look, look, Peter. Good work, good job, good work. Bang. All right. Who we got? Binim. Oh, Binim's preaching tonight. Binim's preaching tonight. Look, look, Binim, you preaching. What's he saying now? Look, look, CB News. All right, I'm looking, Binim. What are you talking about? Justin. Oh, all right, all right. What do you got for me? <laughs> Yo, Binim's preaching at me tonight. Announced Tuesday, Singapore's newly enacted payments. Wait, didn't we just read this a second ago? Hold on, maybe Binim's getting all hyped. Well, that was Gemini. You already said that, Binim. Dang on. Oh, Binim's. <laughs> You're feeling it, brother. Bang, got a little fuel in you. Bang, love it, brother. Let's give you a bang. All right, two times, I'll take it. All right, what we got here? Oh, the tweet. Oh. Yes. I had some stupid, stupid little fucking, what was it? Save the rich. <laughs> I saw that song and I just thought it would be funny to show you guys. Look, look, Ron Gads, you son of a bitch. Bye. Look, hold on. Bye. Look, look. Bye. Look, look. Bye. Don't try to hide your face. I see you. You know who I know. I know who you are. Look, look. Burks for Gary Drop. Bye. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. Look, look, Ditko and the Ditko family, wife, lover, all that. Bang! Yes. Look, look. What else we got? X Nilo, look at you, brother. Bang! Yes. Sporting event guy, sport guy. Look, look. Langer. Wait. Lonre. Ige. Oh. Research AMUG. What's with these AMN guys? I'm going to show you guys something right now. Bye. They liked some show I did about them. Yeah, that was wild. Hold on, I'm going to show you right now. All right, so uh, Iran issued another 1,000 cryptocurrency mining licenses. Bang. Um, look at this guy. Hassan, Han, Hansen Wang. Hansen Wang from Amen here. So this is him talking to me. Hansen from Amen. Remember Amen? So I've taught you about Amen. Amen. They're just pumping out, pumping out ETPs and launching them, regulated ETPs, all over Europe, all over Europe, bringing in this, getting ready to bring us that institutional money. Look, look, and look at him. This is a guy. He works there. Hansen from m a here. We love this episode, he said. What? I'm drinking, I'm smoking, I'm swearing? Yeah, yeah. Amen. I don't know what those boys are doing over there. Well, they're not drinking and smoking. I know that. <laughs> They're getting down to work. They're, they're, they're launching ETPs all over the fucking daggone Europe. No, I don't know. Blasting them out. Bra, bra, bra. Like killers. And he says, like, Hanson from AG here. We love this episode. Excellent content delivered in an entertaining yet educative way. Well, of course it's educative. Fuck, stick. I'm a 20 year fucking market murderer. Huh, you want to learn how to mortar a market? Well, I'll tell you. But I mean, just bang and bang. I got bang and bang, and he's like, hey, we loved it. So look at this. He's like, keep up the good work. Drop me an email. And he gave me the email. We'd like to get in touch. So, fuck, I emailed the guy. I did. Just to see what would happen. You know, I don't, you, know you guys know I'm not here for fucking... Yeah. YouTube money or anything, but wow, like a company talking to me. That's kind of interesting. So I want to see what these guys want to talk about. What do you want to talk about? I only have 200 people watching this thing every day. <laughs> and I'm drinking and smoking, buddy. All right, but obviously you guys are an interesting bunch over there, Damien. Oh, so let me. Hatton saying Wang, brother. Bye, bye, bye. You get a triple like Ronquez just because you're a, you're a corporate dude there. So, yeah, hit me up. I hit him up. 
oh yeah, so I'll tell you what I said in the email. I just said, like, you know, hi, my name's Shamari. You hit me up on your email. Um, I'm surprised you did. And then I showed them who I am, my, my Forex factory and stuff like that. I'm a real investor. So I don't know if you want to, you know, what you want to do or whatever, but I have a YouTube show and hit me up if you want to do something. And I left it open for them to tell me anything, you know. And we'll see. But that's wild, right? The Eamon AG guy. He's from Eamon. Bang. Yeah. There's the email. That's the official corporate fucking email right there, baby. I emailed them. So we'll see, guys. Maybe we'll get some corporate. Uh, maybe things will change around here. You know I'm never going to sell out. Never. You never worry about that. I'm here to make sure that worker bees become killer bees and that we fucking get our peace. Bye. But look, if they can handle any of that. Uh, interesting. All right. I'm here on a mission. I'm not here for fucking motherfuckers pocket change. <laughs> I'm a forex trader. I can get my own change. Bye. I'm just taking out these bitches asses when I need to. Oh, I got to show you the portfolio thing. All right. So let's hurry up and then we'll get the portfolio. Hold on one second. So Bitcoin ETF blockchain business review. Holy, another company? Holy, this is a company? Oh. News on exchange, traded funds, ETFs, blockchain crypto currencies, trading BTC since blah, 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 blah. All right. Look, look. Bye. What'd they say? Best news update I've seen in ages. What? Bitcoin and Eamon AG? These corporate guys? <laughs> I mean, I know what I'm saying is the best. Of course, I'm a 20-year killer. You can't get better than what I have on YouTube in terms of what I'm telling people. But the presentation, I'm surprised that, <laughs> that you're liking that. Of course, what I'm saying, I'll fucking murder her. Bang, I slaughter guys every day. There's no one out here on YouTube that does this. There's no one out here on YouTube that's a market killer like me. But, like I said, the presentation, geez, I'm surprised. <laughs> Love you guys, though. All right, Bitcoin ETF, blockchain, business real. Love you guys. Bye. Yeah, you guys want to rock with a real boy? Well, come on, let's talk, chit-chat with me. Bye. All right. So look, I'm, I'm here to make market killers. I'm here to make market killers. If you guys are down to make market killers, I'm down. Talk to me. Talk to me. Ah, talk to me. Because I'm down with that. Which is the whole point of this channel. Turn worker bees into killer bees. Ah, that's what we're doing around these parts. Ah. All right, one last medium one. Medium's been preaching tonight. <laughs> yeah, he's preaching. Look, look, medium, you're preaching. What did he say? He said, look, look, CB News. Dubai launch in Crypto Valley and tax-free zone. No personal or corporate infant tax. Jeez. All right. Yeah, yeah. That's how it's got to go. Now that you see that crypto's real, you know, if you're a country and you realize, yo, these motherfuckers are real, well, you want to offer them all the incentives to come and locate in your country. Oh, yeah, create jobs in your country. Give status to your country. And these motherfuckers ain't playing around. What does it say? Launching a what? Crypto Valley with what? Tax free? Tax? Hold on. Let me bang this. Can I bang it? Hold on. Settle down. What right, the? Tax free zone. No corporate. Or, hold on. First of all, that, let's get to this one first. No personal. But even no corporate income tax? Bye! Oh, yeah, Bidium. <laughs> Yo, Dubai's playing games. Dubai's coming in. Look, look, sweetie. Let me give her another one. Yes. Bye. Yeah. All right, that's good enough. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? All right, all right. That's good enough. All right, guys. Bang. Look, look. Bang. Look, look. Bang. Look, look. Bang. So, yes, we had a great show for you today. Naturally. Oh, yeah. I told you I was going to tell you the portfolio juggle. All right. So look, let me get real. Let me get real. After that little extravaganza there, like I told you, that wasn't the final numbers. That was just the the beginnings. 
Let me tell you something, brothers. I believe that I have now. I believe that now I have assembled, I have assembled, I have. Hold on, let me, let me calm down. Right now, brothers, I have the ultimate portfolio. And I'm going to show you what it's going to be. All right, so I told you guys, you guys know I have, so let me go over my little, port, let's do this quick. We're not, like, I'm not going to preach to you guys tonight. We'll do a preaching another day, but tonight, not tonight. Or this morning, whenever you're watching this. But look, so I got Bitcoin, like on Ethereum, blah, 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 commodities, I'm keeping those. But then we got uh, VeChain, Stellar, IOTA, Singularity Net, Neo and Tron, right? All right. Well, look, look, brothers. Now, you guys know, and I told you, I'm getting rid of the stealth. Well, Neo, that's gone. Like I said, 2018, we were guessing what we had to invest in. And, well, it just didn't work. So, oh, fucking Neo, yeah, you got to go, buddy. You got to go. You know, you can't hang out in my portfolio like that. Taking up space. <laughs> Taking up space in my portfolio. That ain't going to work. But look, remember, you're like a sports team owner. Yeah, well, your fucking teammates, your 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 fucking employees, your team, yeah, they gotta produce. If you don't produce, get out of here. Fuck off, scram. That's how you gotta do it, brothers. And so, look, my new portfolio is. Let me tell you a little something. Cardano, right now, and this is the one. This is I. Let me let me preach a little. Let me preach a little. After reading to you about Cardano the other day, and then really taking a good look at them, they they're look. I've already told you. I already knew that Hoskinson. He's a mathematician, right? And his fucking the four guys that are with him are a bunch of PhD fucksticks. So I knew that they were a bunch of fucking super brainiac, sort of scientist kind of motherfuckers, right? You know, they're not a bunch of kids. You know, just writing code like these are you know old men scientist fuck sticks <laughs> you know so i already knew about that and but then i wanted to wait and until maybe they did something right and that was the whole problem is well everyone complained about cardano because it's taking so long it's taking so long it's taking so long yeah but those are phd guys they're like settle down kids we're going to bring out a superior product, a superior product, a superior product. And I believe that that superior product has arrived. So luck, luck. I'm going to give you a quick one. You want to hear the best portfolio in the world? So I will show you my portfolio. I just showed you my portfolio. Let me tell you something. I told you that I was going to sell half my Stellar, half my Tron. Bye. That's all gone. Tron, Stellar, Neo, bye. Gone. Oh, yeah. You hardcore like that, dog? Look here, fuckstick. Look here, worker bee. If you want to make money, you got to be ruthless. You got to be fucking ruthless. Ah. Tron, and I got lots of Tron. Told you guys, I got about seven, eight grand worth of that shit. I mean, if this kid comes out with this announcement... Because, I, like I said, I'm doing my juggle around the middle of February. So this kid, he said, Justin signed, he said he's coming out with that announcement. Uh, he said he's got some big thing it's going to add, blah, 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 people to the platform or something. But if it's just some internet little bullshit shit like this, I don't give a fuck about how many users you got, fuck stick. I want to hear all on board of corporations. And so look, I told you. Tron, I was going to sell half. Stellar, I was going to sell half. Neo, gone. Well, Neo, gone. Stellar, gone. Tron, gone. What you going to do, dog? What you going to do, dog? What, what, what? You fucking, you get it, you get it? Yeah. Look, look, guys. Here's how this is going to go. Tron, bye. I'm going to switch that over for some factum. Stellar, bye. I'm going to switch that over for some Cardano. 
Yes, Cardano. And I know you, you motherfucker, you're laughing your ass off. Some fuck sick. Hold on, let me show you even. This guy, he knew. He was like, Shavar, you're going to get Cardano one day. Hold on, where is it? <laughs> this motherfucker here. It's true, buddy. You're right. You're right. That's how I got the V chain. Reading a story here and realizing, dang, gone. That's too good. That's too good. Right? I didn't know about V chain before until I read it right here. And then some of the brothers, Justin and fucking Edwin, just started chit chatting. I was like, dang, gone. <laughs> That's too good. Where is this guy? Here you go. Hold on. Where is he? Where is it? Bye. So, hold on. Is this the thing? Oh, it's Radster, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Radster. Love you, Radster. Our brother from Prague. Bye. He says, ha, 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 love it. I now know you will maybe be add it to the V-Chain bag. You have enough, sir. Look, look, look. Uh, he's talking about the Cardano. Oh, there it is. Cardano community. So he's adding, he's, because I said, oh, that's right. That's right. Okay, okay. Let me show you guys what I said to him. Or someone. Where did I say that? I told him. I said, look, look. He says, loving that ADA update. I had to tell him. Look, look, brother. Cardano is making a real hard push to be included in my portfolio. Real hard now. Bye. Well, look, look, brothers. That push is over. And I would. I am proud to announce. Bye. I'm not a hodler yet, but look. Oh, yeah, brothers. Cardano, that's coming. That's coming. So the new portfolio is this. My portfolio juggle is going to happen like this on February 15th. Tron, bang, gone. Neo, bang, gone. Stellar, bang, gone. New onboardings. Oh, yes. <laughs> Factum, bang. Major government, Department of Homeland Security, call it. Bye. It's coming into the portfolio. Cardano. Bye. Yes, you made it, Cardano. You fucking made it. You're coming into this portfolio. And then the finally, what's that other one? Oh, the chain link. I don't know. I'm still, I'm still. So let me just say that that's the next one. But because we do have to have interoperability. And I keep preaching about it, but just. We'll see about it, about Chainlink. But that's how it's going to go, guys. That's how it's going to go. That's my new portfolio. Tron, Stellar, Neo, all gone. I'm not, fuck this, keeping half of this. Look, fuck sticks. If they actually do something later, like I said, you getting rid of it? Yeah, because look, these altcoins, nothing's happening this year. Yeah, these, uh, the mega investors can't come and buy that stuff until they're regulated. So, well, there's no regulation coming this year for that. So, I'm not worried about it. Your price of your altcoins are going to be just just like 2019. Just what we call ranging. Just ranging between a little range. A little up, a little down. A little up, a little all the way, all year. So, if Stellar and Tron actually do something, well, then I'll get in. Again. I'll get back in. But right now... Cardano, Factum. Let me, so let me, so what do you mean, Shamari? So this is what I mean. You want the ultimate portfolio in this space from a snapshot of right now? Your ultimate portfolio looks like this. VeChain, IOTA, SingularityNet, Factum, Cardano, and Chainlink. Those six right there. Bang! They're built for the future. They're ready for the future. They've already onboarded. They're already rocking and rolling. Built, ready, and already servicing the future. And the future hasn't even come yet. And when these institutional investors arrive, oh, and their analysts arrive. Yeah. Well, who's servicing the future? Now. Now. Not going to do, maybe do one day. Now. The future's here now. Motherfuckers are padding and shit for IOTA now. IOTA's in the cars, uh, the BMWs and the fuck. No, sorry, the Jaguars and the fucking, what is it? The the the, the, the fucking, uh, what is it? What is it? The Volkswagens and the Audis now. Right? V-Chain is being used by Walmart now. 
This is it. This there it's used. These are viable companies. This is being used. They are generating buy hook revenue now with major Fortune 500 companies. That portfolio I just showed you right there. B Chain, IOTA, Singularity Net, Factum, Cardano, and fucking Chainlink. But that's the killer. That is the killer portfolio of this whole space. For you guys, you know, you can't afford the large cap stuff. So let's just keep it at the small cap stuff. The altcoins, whatever you want to call them. Those six altcoins right there. You just accumulate, accumulate, accumulate. You're already making money. When these analysts get here, when these institutions get here, you're going to kill it. You're going to kill it. And that's why, that's what my portfolio. I mean, Justin Sun has one more chance. If this announcement is anything, we'll see. But I doubt it. My portfolio is going to look like this at the end of February. By February 16th, my portfolio is going to look like Singularity Net, B Chain. IOTA, Factum, Cardano, and motherfucking Chainlink. But that's your killer portfolio. Look, I don't tell a man to do with his money. I just give my opinion as a 20-year investor. I think I know a little bit. And let me tell you something. That right there is your killer portfolio in this space. Now. If you don't have much money, you can't spread it around like I can. You know, I have money, so I can spread around and do this. If you don't have much, start with your V chain. Start with the V chain. That's the cheapest and the most murderous. Right, if you don't have much money, yeah, I don't give a fuck. If you're a hamburger flipper at McDonald's, get yourself some V chain fuck stick. You don't be flipping hamburgers too long. Wow. Well, we'll see, but you know what I'm saying. And then the rest of those other ones that I showed you, the other five, bang, 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 bang. Bang, 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 bang. Already on the board of major Fortune 500 companies. Oh, all right, let's break it down a little bit. B chain, major Fortune 500s, government contract. Bang. IOTA, major corporations, major government contracts. Bang. Factum. Well, <laughs> Department of Homeland Security. It's just a start, but luck. Let's get real. You start there, that's a good start. Uh, Cardano, Uzbekistan, and uh, what was the other country? Georgia, plus all those other onboardings, plus the digital, the money thing they want to do. Bang! Plus, we know the brains of those guys. Those are PhD guys, so, I mean, that's real shit. Plus, they got the Africa stuff they're doing. Bang! Who do you got? Who else we got? Who else didn't I mention yet? Bang, 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 bang. Back one, back one. Oh, Chainlink. Right, and so Google and interoperability, you know, that's that's why, you know, Chainlink's the other one. All right, so that's it. Bang, now let's look at the show we did. Bang, we, Bosch files a digital payments patent for on IOTA. Bang, I told you, IOTA the standard, bitch. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, invest in the standard. Yeah, invest in the Bluetooth of the future. <laughs> like, you know, it's the Bluetooth of the future. Internet of Things. They got to talk. They got to. I don't know. Invest in it. Don't be stupid. Look, look. NASDAQ. Looking at Bitcoin futures. Looking at. Now they're only looking at. But let's get real. You know they're going to launch. They want to they wanna battle the CME guys and the, the New York Stock Exchange guys. Get the fuck out of here. That's coming in. Bye. India trial. So the India trial thing. Well, those are the closing arguments and. Well, we'll see what the judge says. Looks good for crypto, I think. I mean, the judge was asking some good questions and stuff, so we'll see how it goes. So look, look. Holy, I got to go to the bathroom, so let's get out of here. Let's chill and kill you. Let's get you back to your wives and lives. Subscribe below. Press the bell. You get all my little case case when to do the show. Great show, another great show in the multiverse. Look, look. My name is Shamar Clark. I love talking money. love talking crypto. This is the favorite time of my day. So look, look. Press that bell. Whoop, whoop. Press that bell. Watch that movie, and I'll be back, and I'll see you tomorrow. My name is Shamar Clark. Look, look. Love doing this. Over and out. Bye.